Hey, good morning. Welcome back uh, to the morning show. Uh, it's great to be with you this morning, joining us from different parts of the world, but also around the country to via the Fiji TV app. Uh, but today also marks a very important date. Uh, back in 1988, I, I believe it was, uh, when women first enlisted for the uh, Royal Military Fiji, uh, Royal Republic of Fiji Military Forces. Um, and uh, of course, women joined back then for the first time and creating history. Uh, joining me in studio this morning are two uh, women who were part of the enlistment. And uh, it was interesting, interesting, interesting times, I would assume. Um, I'm here with uh, Viti Nagashima and uh, Betlin uh, uh, with us as well in the state as well. How did you find out about uh, this enlistment, uh, Viti? Oh, it was advertised in the paper. Yeah. So out of curiosity, I thought, okay, I'll give this a try. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I think I went off and spent a weekend at my aunt, so I missed out on the letter they sent us to go in for, what's it, what you call it, Rosby. Yes. So I took that letter with me mm -hmm. and asked a friend to accompany me to the camp and she waited outside while I went in <laughs> <laughs> with my letter and I was advised at the headquarters to go down to the x-ray mobile thing that was down by the medical center. They call it RAP. Yeah. So I had my x-ray done, then I was advised when to go in for basic recruit training. Exciting times and I would imagine the um, reactions would have been different from your friends, family. How did your uh, family react to this when you told them that you um, <laughs> were enlisting into the army? Well. Generally, they accepted, but you know, I think they would have been a bit worried about because it was a new thing. I right. remember the officer who advised me said, "If you're not used to being sworn at, you'll be sworn at when you do <laughs> <laughs> in the recruit phrase." <laughs> uh, but Very mildly. <laughs> uh, exciting for you as well. Um, why the army? Why did you choose the army back then? Well, at the time, the opportunity presented itself to yeah. me, and. Um, I live back in Vatuanga where the rifle range is, where mm. they have shooting and all. Mm. I was always curious yeah. um, at, uh, as to what was happening out yeah. there. So when the opportunity presented itself to me, I accepted yeah. and went forward from there. But you were doing something separate from then, uh, uh, totally different, uh, tof different field uh, compared to the military. What were you doing uh, just uh, of viewers watching? Yeah, <laughs> previously I was uh, working with the Sheraton Fiji Resort. Right. It had just opened. So I was with the I was there working as a supervisor yeah. for the food and beverage outlet. Yeah. yeah. And did it change you? I mean, coming from the food and um, hospitality industry into the military, um, big difference that you saw in yourself. Well, yes. Uh, but basically, one thing I remember that was really funny was when we first went for the uh, the recruit training or basic or some of the um, the uh, yeah the first day I think it was. Mm. Um, I was actually wearing my high heels up that road. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, that is because I came out from civilian life and you know, I wasn't sure, right. I didn't know. <laughs> you know. So I was really not dressed appropriately <laughs> on day one. Yeah. yeah, so those are just some so of the simple things. So, <laughs> 40, uh, 40 plus women enlisted there or went in the, to uh, the Royal Military Forces back then. Um, and then you went into different scopes of uh, the military. Uh, mm -hmm. you, try, you were sent off to nursing school. Yes. Was that by choice or they sent you into nursing school? No, I was asked by one of the officers. You know, I remember him asking whether I wanted to go and do nursing and I told him, no, I don't think I have the patience for it. And then <laughs> another girl in our lot yeah. had applied yeah. and we were working in the same uh, area. So I said, give me your letter, let me have a look. So we ended up applying as well and <laughs> off we went. <laughs> In 1988 to 91. There you go. How about you? Uh, what, yes. what did you get to in the military? Similar, okay. but I was more interested in aviation, so right. I first started there, and then uh, later on in the uh, transport pool. Right. Logistics. I, and you were non-commissioned officers, uh, yes. warrant officer class one, uh, yes. warrant officer class two, Viti. Um, but you had women as well who went into uh, the officer cadet uh, training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, some of them may be in the, still in the forces at the moment. What was it like for you to see men saluting these commissioned women officers? Um, well, to, to see that happening, it would have been a big thing, right? Proud. Yeah, we of were course, proud. Yes. yes, of course. But then again, with the military, um, it's an equal. Um, pay by rank uh, employer. Right. So if you're being saluted, that is your job, mm -hmm. and uh, that is your rank you carry with pride. Mm -hmm. uh, same with the other ranks, from privates right up to warrant officers. Right. So 
it's a proud moment for everybody. Uh, we're, we're looking at some pictures uh, from, uh, well, back in the day when mm -hmm. uh, you were still serving. Uh, and of course, <laughs> thank you so much for your service. Uh, and it was a big thing to see uh, women in the in, 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 in uh, uniform, with you saying that at one point you were sent to town uh, to for something oh, yes, that you that do? Oh yes, that was just after passed out and we started work. I, was, I did some clerical work yeah. before I went to the nursing school. school and I accompanied the clerk on the mail run into mm -hmm. the general post office in Suva. Yeah. In the full uniform, you could just feel <laughs> eyes on you, you know, because it's a new thing yeah. back then, yes. <laughs> You can even hear some comments, but then you they just let it slide. <laughs> do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Look, the uniform also took you abroad as well. Uh, you got to see um, the world um, as it was back in the 80s. W was it daunting for you to be part of a peacekeeping mission back then or exciting at, at the same time? Well, for me, I actually um, stayed in the military for the first six years yeah. after that. And then I joined um, the airline industry and worked with Air New Zealand for yeah. 10 years. Right. So I got back into the military when they were first deploying to Iraq. Yeah. And they needed the numbers of females to go on deployment and also to change and rotate. What is that like for you being in a war zone uh, in Iraq? Or was it a war zone back then? Yes, of course, because I mean, we were coming out of 2004 yeah. and then going into 2005 where um, um, deployments were coming in. Uh, it was pretty, well, exciting for me because it was something new, you know, when you see tracker dogs yeah. checking your bags when you're lining up in Baghdad at yeah. the bus station, bus terminal, mm -hmm. and then you're in these Humvees taken from one point to another yeah. and uh, going in the buses to your site, you know, mm. to the UN camp. Mm. Uh, Pretty exciting, exciting. actually. Yeah, I, I loved it actually. But you've, <laughs> you've travelled extensively as well while while in service. Where have you have you been to um, in that part of the world? On the Sinai and the Golan Heights and uh, Iraq. Right. What what was exciting about those those trips uh, that you on? In, I mean, apart from being there for work. <laughs> oh, you meet all kinds of people, and yeah. then you see how members of other forces work. Yeah. And well, I spent my time in the medical center because we look after the yeah. soldiers who come in sick. Of course, it is exciting because otherwise I wouldn't afford to go to places <laughs> like that. <laughs> you know that saying that join the army and see the world. That's the opportunity to see the world. Yeah. So and on the whole, it was good. And, I the, and the chance it. to see other cultures as well, yes. meet other people from that part of the world as well. Eh? So different from ours. Oh, there you go. Um, look, it it, it well, I mean, you. It's this is a story that needs to be captured uh, mm -hmm. on many levels. And uh, you would have inspired as well the many women um, who've joined the army since then. Eh? Uh, there's many, many women uh, in, in the, but of course you would have inspired other women um, in your own circles. Did they ask you how do you how did you join? What what is it like? Were you asked those questions while uh, being yes, in service? Yes, of course mm. we were. Yeah, mm. yeah. So we always had to point them in the right direction. Yeah. And uh, how do you apply? Wait for the recruit for women to yeah. come out and then apply. Mm -hmm. But the main thing I want to stress is physical fitness right. for women. You must pass your regular fitness tests. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very important for the, for the military. Um, there's another thing that we want to talk about as well. I mean, it does develop you um, um, internally uh, going forward into CV life, so to speak. How did that prepare you? I mean, you 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 had bro broken service. It helped you in terms of uh, going into the airline industry, uh, being part of that. Uh, but also in terms of studying, it did. Uh, yes. So you that back far. in the military, when I was there, we had something what we call military for life. Yeah. So in this way, the military prepared us for life after retirement. Yes. Um, so I took the opportunity and I did a few. Um, uh, university programs yeah. to catch up with the real world, yeah. as I thought, like uh, international relations and business admin. Yeah. And I was also fortunate to travel abroad to um, to England, yeah. to Oxford. So, yeah, so it's an exciting time to be in the <laughs> military. Take the opportunity. <laughs> uh, just just last year, any advice to women who would like to take up uh, a role in the Pacific, in the in the in the, in the uh, forces as well? What would you say to a young woman or young girl who's watching right now from their home, uh, whether it be in Fiji, whether they be abroad, uh, who would want to come back to Fiji and uh, join the Royal Military Forces? Well, I'd say if the opportunity presents itself and you think you can do it, by all means, go for it, and you can. 
always use it as a stepping stone to something else. Yeah. And that uh, training in the early phases puts you in good stead for later, you know, what you'll face later on in life. It yeah. uh, gives you a I can do it attitude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, just um, um, going on from VT. Um, the military in Fiji, like I said before, uh, for the rank you wear, you get the equal, equal pay, pay. Yeah? regardless of gender. And on the other hand, the one thing I'd like to stress, as I said, is physical fitness. Mm. Don't lurk behind. Start training and do pass your, um, your um, RFL every time you have it, not just to go on tour. Yeah, that's yeah? Right, that's right. Take pride in your body. It's your weapon. The military, it's your weapon. So I'd advise the, the girls coming in, um, try not to say, uh, think of what you can give, uh, what the military can give to you, but rather what you can give back to the military. So yes. good luck. Nak Valley, was that service uh, to the country as well? Eh? Yeah. Well, thanks so much for uh, being pioneers uh, in the uh, military forces in Fiji. You've created history back uh, back then, and of course, uh, inspiring other women to join the <laughs> army uh, in the coming years, uh, and of course, after you joined as well. But I'm sure that also you've got your um, your fellow sisters who are watching from different parts of the world yes. uh, to this particular program that actually made you a bit more nervous coming into the show. But <laughs> yes, so thank, thank you so much for your yeah. time and efforts uh, with your service uh, while being in the military forces. Thank you. Thank you so much thank for, you having, for having, us. having us. You're welcome. <laughs> Stay with us. There's more on the show after this.